The Savage Arms Company is well known for the production of rifles and shotguns, but they also made semi-automatic pistols prior to World War I. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and I've got a Savage Model 1907 that I'd like to show you. Let's take a look at it. The magazine release is on the bottom front of the grip. Press it with your finger and pull the magazine out with your thumb. There's no magazine safety, which allows the pistol to fire with the magazine removed. Now this is a single action design with an exposed hammer. Now the hammer spring is very strong and requires the use of two hands to cock. The unusual double stack magazine holds 10 rounds. These are dummy cartridges. The slide doesn't lock back after the last shot, requiring that it be cycled to chamber around from a fresh magazine. The thumb safety doubles as a slide stop. We have a three and three quarter inch barrel with fixed sights. Savage made this model from 1907 to 1915. This one's chambered for 32 ACP, but they also made them in 380. Now field stripping is pretty straightforward. Let me show you how. First, remove the magazine and make sure the chamber's empty. Pull the slide all the way to the rear and move the safety to the safe position to hold the slide open. Rotate the back of the slide a quarter turn clockwise and pull out the breech block. Now hold the trigger back, release the safety and slip the slide off the front of the frame. A bit complicated, but certainly doable. To put it back together, lay the barrel in so that this notch engages the slot in the frame. Engage the slide in the frame, move the slide all the way to the rear and lock it in place. Now insert the breech bolt, pressing down on this lever and turn it back into position. Pretty simple. Okay, let's make sure it functions by emptying the magazine. So there you have it, the Savage Model 1907. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and that's the way it is.